So this is what happens when you're in the fairgrounds in Tucson and you have an event going on. Just lines and lines and lines and lines of cars. This is the Jurassic Quest or something. They've been plugging this thing for weeks. And it actually sounds kind of cool, even though we're not gonna be going to it. But um, it's, for as busy as it is, it's actually relatively quiet, interestingly enough. There's no like loud music or bass going on and no nobody yelling, kids screaming. It's oddly quiet for as many people as there are here. So the fairgrounds in general is not a quiet place to stay. You may hear that in the background. We have some kind of remote control plane. It might be an RC plane, thing. yeah. RC plane flying that way, which we've heard before. There's a racetrack that way, so we had races going on. They're never going on too late, like eight o'clock at night, but they can be really loud. There's a gun range that way, so you constantly are hearing gunshots. What? Well, there, um, there was just one. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's just the general hustle bustle of people parking and stuff like that. So this is not a place to come if you want quiet, um, but for $150 for a week of full hookups and first come first serve in Tucson, right before gem show, which is the busiest time of year, every other campground's booked. And it's 50 amp, 50 amp. So all these campsites here, you may have seen this in some of our uh, uh, um, other videos. This is one of their newer camp areas. There's another camp area right across the street there. That's 50. And then there's more camping way back there. And that's a mix, I believe, of 30 and 50 hookups. Which is, we got the cell tower right there, which is nice. So we get pretty good Verizon. There's a, some kind of restaurant down over that way, which is kind of cool, although we've never, never been to it. Basically, we're just chilling now until we head east. You saw the dates video, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be action packed this year. It's gonna be action packed because we're going east. I'm almost looking forward to it now. As you know, we we really prefer the west, but the east is gonna be so different. It gives us something new to explore. So I'm kind of into it now. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be good. In you go. In you go. So although we said we haven't been doing much, and that is true, we are actually doing something today. And we're gonna take you with us. We are going to taste, well, Steve is going to taste beer. I'm rocking the stud muffin shirt, by the way. Let's let's show that, yeah, yeah. baby. Uh, at four breweries we have not gone to here in Tucson today with some friends. So we will take you along on our brewery tour. On our booze cruise. It's a booze cruise. <laughs> this whole life is a booze cruise. It's a rough life. Somebody's got to do it. That's right. Might as well be us. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry. First stop. Now we we'll look at first timers. So welcome. We are in Tacoma. First stop a success? It was. Favorite? The vanilla porter. It was fantastic. Okay. On to the next stop. This is a cool That's just amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that pop popcorn is delicious. They do uh prowlers. Oh you're right. Some people have to be yeah. really like the prowlers only. I was trying to get Oh, holy moly. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. So this is the... Favorite there? The favorite was the Winterland Porter. Why? Because it had some pecan, and I love pecan in my beer. Now we're gonna go get tacos at Boca Taco. I'm excited for that one. Sugar stone. Thank you. 
One of the things I love about Tucson and I'm gonna miss is the number of breweries. There's like maybe one brewery for every five people in the city. <laughs> it's not quite that many, but there are a lot of breweries. Well, there are about a million people in the metro area, so it's yeah. not quite that many, but there's a lot and they keep popping up, yep. which is a good thing for beer lovers like me and of course the economy. Yeah. So. so we had a lot of fun yesterday with friends, hanging out, going to breweries, having some delicious tacos. If you uh, like hot cream. tacos that, you know, our salsas are hotter than your wife sign that you saw, they're not kidding. But they have all different kinds. They change daily. You never know what you're going to get. But the food's always yeah. delicious. So. I'm going to switch hands here. There we go. So, yeah. Great time with friends. One of our last outings here in Tucson before we hit the road and start heading east. Every time we turn on the camera, you shake. That's because she wants to be in the video. Oh, Penny. She wants to be in the video. Come on. Come up. All right, come on up. Come up. You gotta turn up. around. No. Got, got, they don't want to see your you butt. Turn around. They don't want to see your way. face. Gotta look this way. There. there Here you we go. go. Okay. She's having none of it. Look at that. <laughs> so, I think that's it for this video. Stay tuned very soon for us packing up and hitting the road. You saw our trek in the last video. Woo! That is a long trip. Oh, yes in the in the dates video our yes. trek yeah where we'll be going so <laughs> thanks for the belch penny wow you're just getting the full experience <laughs> in this video anyway we will see you next time guys <sighs> bye bye <laughs> thank penny. you penny 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 what are you doing penny what are you doing she won't look at the camera